Duty cycle circuits are very interesting and useful and I'm going to use a light dimmer switch in this demo of what a uh, duty cycle means. It uses a triac. And here's the symbol for it. And you can see that it's two diodes back to back with a gate. And if you signal the gate at the right time, you can vary the duty cycle. Okay, here's the dimmer switch on the workbench. I've just turned it on. And you can see what the scope is telling us here. As I increase the dimmer, the sine wave increases. And now I'm lowering the dimmer and the sine wave decreases and I just turned it off here. Now it's back on and we'll go through this cycle again. This is about halfway and now we're up all the way about halfway and now this is as low as the dimmer will go and now it's off. What we saw in that video is this. When I first turned it on we had a waveform that was about 25 percent of the total sine wave. And as I increase the dimmer, here we're going to get to 50 percent of the sine wave. And the light is about half on. Now of course I continued increasing and here we're going to get to about 75 percent. The dimmer switch actually doesn't get to a hundred percent like we're going to get here. It only got to about like 95 percent total. Now here in this drawing this is 100 percent. So the duty cycle what that means is the percent of how much of the cycle is on. We started in the video with about 25 percent and then we got to 50 percent then 75 percent and then here 100 percent on. Here's another look at that demo. Okay, here's the dimmer switch on the workbench. I've just turned it on. And you can see what the scope is telling us here. As I increase the dimmer, the sine wave increases. And now I'm lowering the dimmer and the sine wave decreases and I just turned it off here. Now it's back on and we'll go through this cycle again. This is about halfway and now we're up all the way about halfway and now this is as low as the dimmer will go and now it's off. I decided to violate the warranty and open this unit up so we could see what's on the inside and at the top here we can see a coil that's pretty heavy wire and then just below that is a capacitor and the two solder lugs that you see that's the on off switch 
And because this unit turns on and off the AC 60 cycle, it is a fairly noisy unit. I'm sure some of you run into that. That's the reason why, because it's not varying the voltage, it's turning off the phase at some percent, whatever you have the uh, variable resistor set at. Now in this picture in the lower right, you can see the triac here. And here's the other side of that board. And there's the variable resistor, and to its right is another resistor, and then to its right is a variable resistor, and behind it is another capacitor. And here's a better look at that resistor. And in the lower right here, where you can see the three leads of the triac, to the left of that is a glass diode. I hope this video helped you understand what the term duty cycle means. It's how much of the cycle is doing work or is on. Thanks for watching.